Well, y'all, it's hot out here. Um, we just trapped three hogs, as you can see. And uh, we're gonna load them up on the awesome rack packer we just picked up at the PD Deer Classic. We're gonna load them up, get them out of here, because it's hot, y'all. We gotta take care of them quick. Let's do this. Man, y'all, hey, this is a whole lot easier with your rack packer. I'm telling you what, it's hot. I don't want to drag these hogs. That's it, y'all. That's how quick you can get it done if you got a rack packer. Well, y'all, we had a great day yesterday. Got three hogs in a trap, and uh, man, it was work. It was hot, so we had to hurry up and get them hogs out of the woods, get them taken care of, and make sure we get the meat in the cooler before they spoil. And uh, I didn't do this video with you guys in the woods because I was working with a very small window of time before those hogs went to bad. So what I got here is the old rat packer. You see this thing is cool as could be, man. It helped me get them hogs out of there quick. Otherwise, I would have to drag all of them by myself to the truck. So it was a great thing that I had this with me. And as you can see, it folds up small. Got your little backpack strap so you can carry it in the woods when you're going hunting. You can put your pack and everything on it so you could always have it with you. And it's fairly light. I uh, don't have a big old wheel on there to constantly give you a hard time hitting you or getting hung up on things in the woods. So it's very compact once it's folded up. But uh, we're going to show you how it all works here. And again, it's just a cool little package deal right here. And you got your uh, shoulder straps. All you do is unclick those. right there and you've got two long straps to, to hold your game on the cart and so I've got one right here I'll loosen it up and let it drop free and then I got one right here I'll loosen it up and let it drop free now you just wrap them around so they don't get hung on anything but uh and there it is. All you do is unfold it. Check it out. And there she is. She's got a little plate right there. Pull it down. So you stick the game on there. So what you got here, you got a bunch of straps. So now you got to figure out what you're going to do with them. Okay? The ones with your shoulder straps use basically what I did with mine is I just connected them together and just let them kind of hang out out of the way or however you want to do it because basically you are working with this top strap which is going to hold the head of your animal whether it be a hog or a deer or whatever and what I did with mine actually is I took these and I ran them through the bottom and went around the center of the hog to hold it in place but your two main straps are right here. This is the top one right there. And then you've got your bottom one, same one down at the bottom. So you got two to wrap around your game. And that's, that's basically how you wrap them up. But I'm going to lay it down and I'll show you exactly what we're doing here. All right, so you got your cart. You got all your straps free. Now you're just laying it down here. What I do 
what I did yesterday in order to get it right so I could just put my hog right on top of there is this strap right here again is to hold the head of your animal so I just pulled it out set them to the side this is your main strap for the top to mid of your animal on the deer it's going to be their shoulders on a hog it was about very close to the neck and shoulders because obviously the hogs I kill are a lot shorter in length than a deer so I lay my straps out and then I got my bottom strap right here and I lay it out now they'll move up and down these poles so you can get it where you want to but uh again your shoulder strap uh you know you could use it if the animal is the perfect girth if you wanted to use it as an additional strap but it doesn't it doesn't really adjust so basically i just kind of hooked it around and you can see the blood on there from the hog yesterday that's just kind of where it landed it just laid right there laid on the back of the cart here so you put your hog in there you put your deer in there now you're strapped up so what we did was i took this strap on this side and you've got the arm of the deer and what I did was I basically just wrapped it around the arm like that, pulled it tight so you get your arm against the, the bar right there so it's not flopping all over the place. And then you just run it through your buckle and you just cinch it down. So you got your animal right there with the uh, with its arms legs on the front tied down because you're going to have them just flopping everywhere if you don't do the same thing for the bottom side and then again the top of the animal you go ahead and, you, and you've got a lot to work with so the top of the animal i sensed right here and held it down but uh, on my hog since it was a lot shorter what i did was i actually sent it through here and then I came around the hog and tied it because, of course, my hog didn't go past this point right here. So I used this to hold it kind of in the center to help with it. And I also actually used it to hold my the, the little 22 that I had to dispatch the hogs in a trap. I used that strap. So again, guys, I hope it helped. I'll show you a little bit more in detail how I used it. So we're going to get ahead and put it back together and put it in the truck. Because this joker ain't never come back of the truck no more. I tell you what, this was a real useful tool against 